my name is uh, Harald Troost of Shimano Europe. We are over here in, uh, in Agle, Switzerland for first test ride of the Ultegra DI2. Um, functionality is about the same as uh, the Dura DI2 that was introduced a few years ago. But there's of course some differences. Uh, the, the price of the complete group set, so including the mechanical parts like uh, crankset, uh, cassette and chain, is about half the price of a Durace DI2 group set. Um, that's due to uh, the use of some different materials, like uh, for example uh, aluminum brake levers instead of carbon for the Durace DI2. And also some other uh, different materials that were used, so that brings down uh, the price a lot. But functionality is about the same, so we have uh, an uh, automatic trimming from the rear um, and of course uh, completely electronic shifting components in uh, the rear as well as in the front. Uh, shift buttons are also similar to Durace DI2. Um, the only part that is exactly the same as Durace DI2 is, uh, is the battery. So you can count on a good capacity for all your rides. The big difference in between Durace DI2 and Ultegra DI2 is in the cable sets. We call this new technology E-tube technology. Um, this is the cable for Durace DI2. It's a four core wire system. Uh, for Ultegra DI2 we have only two core wire systems. So you can see uh, the cable as well as the connector is uh, much uh, smaller. Uh, this allows uh, frame manufacturers uh, to build frames with smaller holes but also the complete cable set is lighter than the one of the Durace DI2. This is a big difference. Another difference is that um, to mount the, the Ultegra DI2 cables, you don't need to use any shrink hoses anymore. Uh, connecting uh, the cables into the, this is the junction that goes into the frame, the cable junction. Connecting, this is a tool to, to connect the cables to the junction. If you are connected, you hear a simple click and it is, uh, at this moment it is waterproof already. No need to do any uh, further things anymore. So this is a big difference, Does the cables are smaller, connectors are smaller and it is waterproof right from the start. Another big difference uh, of the new Ultegra DI2 compared to Durace DI2 is that for Ultegra DI2 we have a, a PC connection tool. It's uh, the tool uh, over here. On uh, one side, you connect. Uh, the connectors are being uh, put into the, the, the dual control levers, and on the other side, there's a USB connection for your PC. So you connect the complete system to your PC. This allows you, um, for example, to change the shift order of the buttons. So normally, the small button over here is to go to a bigger gear in the rear. But you can also change the shift order between the two buttons, that this one uh, will be used for a lighter gear. Uh, but you can also use, uh, change the shift order from right to left, for example. So on the that you uh, shift with the front rear with the right dual control lever. The PC connection tool is also being used to uh, diagnose uh, any problems that might occur into your electronic system. So it's basically a tool for de the dealer. Uh, so if there's any uh, electronic problem, he can connect it to the dual control lever and he can uh, notice, diagnose where exactly uh, the electronic problem is. Uh, and in the future um, it's, yeah, it will be possible to, to add any more features of the electronic uh, system by using this uh, PC connection tool and the software that's being supplied with it. But it's really for, for the dealer. Hey, I'm Tyler with Bike Rumor. I wanted to show you some of the features of the Altegra DI2 electronic shifting, more how it works, and some of the really neat features that were built into it. Um, so, as Harold explained, you've got the two button shifting, and it's a simple push to get it to shift. Very easy, very light action, as you'd expect from an electronic system. Uh, one of the neat things is when you're riding, you can really brush it and it's not going to shift accidentally. You really have to move the button all the way in to get it to shift. And so one of the things we've heard some people complain about is, well, you can't drop a bunch of gears or gain a bunch of gears at one time. You actually do have to press it for each gear. You can't just hold it 
and let it go and go and go. Obviously I'm holding it now and it's not shifting. But what I noticed is you can do it pretty darn quick and I just went through the whole cassette. Same going the other way. So yes, you have to press it, but it works incredibly quickly. And as you're doing that, the front derailleur is trimming in and out so that there's never chain rub on the derailleur. We've ridden it up and down hills, able to shift it under pressure in both directions and it works really well. Absolutely no problem getting it to move when you want it to move. So it's a pretty amazing system. And thanks to Shimano for having us out here to Switzerland to ride it. Here's a close up of the derailleur going up the cassette. And then we're gonna drop it down real quick once we get to the top just to show you how fast it can actually shift. So, in most cases, you're probably not gonna be able to need to shift a whole lot quicker than that. And you can see it can go all around pretty quickly.